this is video number two for my sports class. So here's another little way to look at a triglyceride. Here's another image of the, well, there's a repeat image of the triglyceride. So there's the, what we call the backbone. It's called glycerol. And then this is 95% of all the, all the fat you eat has three little arms called fatty acids. Um, those can differ a lot. And, and this really is the crux of the fats chapter is understanding the difference. You do not need to know chemistry. You just need to know shapes. So if you just have a strand of carbon, three of them in a, in a triglyceride, three strands, that's called, and, and they're just, they're, they're just a long thing of carbon. It's loaded in hydrogen. It's loaded in hydrogen. We call that a saturated fat because it's saturated in hydrogen. Now, you know, this is an image. It doesn't look like it's flexible, <clears throat> excuse me, but in fact, but in fact, it is flexible that it it might as well be a chain of pearls and if you had a pearl necklace it's dangly it's flexible and the truth is if you had a lot of pearl necklaces and they were very flexible you could place them in a box and they would stack really well it's weird it's flexible so it stacks well if you put a double bond in nature so carbon touching another carbon not with one atom with two atoms that actually puts a bend in the molecule. This doesn't seem bent, but trust me, it is. Anytime it's bent or it has a double bond, we call that unsaturated. These don't stack very well. This is a pearl necklace which really, literally has a bend in the metal in the metal strand. It's bent. You try to put it in the in the jewelry box and it's all crooked. Or think about wood. Wood that you get for a fire pit is usually like from trees and stuff. It's not the straight stuff. It's the crooked, bent stuff from from limbs. It doesn't stack very well. That's one double bond. That's called monounsaturated. If you have more than one double bond, they get really crooked. Um, and they don't stack at all. And it all comes down to where are you going to find these kinds of fats? If it's three strands of plain carbon, neck, cl plain carbon pearl necklace, that stacks really well. Saturated are usually found in solids, like butter. If you don't know yet, Butter is a source of saturated fats. And if you have a lot of these unsaturated fats and they don't stack well and you have three of them sticking together and then you have a whole jar of them, we call that oil, right? It's, it's olive oil, not olive butter or canola oil, not canola butter. This saturationness really does get to the heart of why some fats are solid and some fats are liquids. Right, and here's just another simple way to look at it. All just carbons loaded in hydrogen, three of them together stack really well. You put one double bond, it's not shown in the in the image, but trust me, it's crooked. You put three double bonds, it's even more crooked. Um, there's always three of these in nature coming together to make a triglyceride the vast majority of the time. They don't all have to be saturated. Some, it can be partially saturated. It can be all unsaturated. It just depends on what kind of food source you're eating. Um, here, they, here you go. Crooked. Crooked. Look at this one. This one has three double bonds. Almost looks like a, a fish hook. Oddly enough, in fish, the so fish have triglycerides in fish fat. So fish fat has a cap with three chains of carbon. The ones in fish are longer than what you find in plants and, and steak. They're like 20 carbons long, 22 carbons long pearl necklace, and they have many double bonds, not one or two or three, four, five, six. The, the, oddly enough, the fat you find in fish, like salmon, actually kind of looks like a fishing hook because it's so crooked. It's interesting, right? It's, that's the shape of a fishing hook to catch a fish, and that's the shape of the fat that's in the fish that you caught, right? So... Um, Triglycerides can have solid fats, uh, uh, can have saturated fatty acids. Triglycerides can have unsaturated fatty acids. It just depends on each triglyceride. Is it mostly saturated? Is it mostly unsaturated? Is it a combination of all of them? And that's pretty much dictates what your food supply looks like. So here's a good example of your standard fatty acid you might find in canola oil flaxseed oil or I want to get in walnuts okay it's a triglyceride there's three chains of carbon one chain 
two chain, three chain. The top, the little green thing is called glycerol. Now, if you just have no double bond, it's just saturated, right? Um, but we know that it's corn oil and canola oil. And then if you've ever seen walnut oil, it's oil, not butter. So there's got to be some unsaturated fatty acids inside that triglyceride. And of course there are. So in canola oil, typically the middle can be saturated or not, but the ones on the end are unsaturated. They have to be because it's canola oil, not canola butter. This is a mono unsaturated, has one little bend in it. There's one double bond. This one has what? One, two, three double bonds. You don't need to know chemistry. Look, you need to know the word crooked. It's crooked. If you were just to start counting, just, just like a, a kid on a playground counting Legos in a Lego set. And you start with the outside Lego and you count all the way into the inside Lego. If you count first carbon, one, two, three, and there is a double connection from three to four, like double Lego bond, if you will, that's an omega-3 fat. Omega-3 fats are, are fatty chains in a triglyceride that have a double bond, a bend at the third carbon. Now, if there isn't a double bond there and you get to number six, that's an omega-6 fat. I, many of you have heard of omega-3s. Some of you have heard of omega-6. I bet none of you have heard of omega-9. You just skip them all and you find a double bond on the ninth carbon. So it's, it's crooked like this one on the bottom. Friends, that's olive oil. Olive oil is made up of triglycerides. Typically, the one in the middle of the, of the fat, the fatty chain in the middle of the triglyceride is saturated, and the ones on the outside have a double bond on the ninth carbon in the chain of carbons. Olive oil is a very good source of omega-9. The reason why you never hear the word omega-9, because you can make it. That's the problem. We can't make omega-3 fats where the double bond's on the third carbon, and we can't make omega-6s where the double bond is on the sixth carbon. Humans have to eat triglycerides that have fatty chains with either the double bond on the third carbon or the double bond on the sixth carbon. If it's on the third, we call that linolenic acid. That's the omega-3 fat you have to eat. It's like iron. It's essential. If there's a double bond on the sixth carbon, that's called linoleic acid. It's essential. It's like zinc. So when you look at the food supply and it's providing triglycerides, which are made up of three fatty chains, three pearl necklaces, the question for you as an eater is, what does each chain look like? And are there omega-3 chains in there or omega-6 chains? It doesn't matter what the other ones are because you can make them, right? And so when we get to this slide in the third video, this will explain all the glory of dietary fat.